Rough weather marked the Rorick's passage from London, and the family was relieved to put into New York Harbor on October 3, 1920. Rarick's exhibition opened on December 18 at the King Gore Gallery on Fifth Avenue. It ran for a month and featured almost 400 works. 2,000 people overran the gallery in the first two days. One paper noted that the elevator operator went crazy from overwork, and thousands more visited over the next four weeks. Sales proved sluggish, a problem that dogged the entire tour, but the New York Herald judged his work strong and original, and the Detroit News anticipating the exhibit's arrival in Michigan deemed it the sensation of the season. In mid-January the show moved to the Boston Art Club, where it stayed half a week. According to the Boston Globe, the event was popular. Near the end of the Boston run, Rarick noticed a tall, melancholy man who had spent the entire three days intently examining one of my paintings. The admirer turned out to be the country's greatest living portraitist, John Singer Sargent.